You can build a better foundation faster and easier with the Foothold Form Ties 2-inch XPS foam board and ICF wall blocks. With the foothold system alone, you can build a 20 inch by 10 inch footer that will support a one to two story framed building in most soils. If you combine the foothold with ICF wall blocks, you can build a crawl space foundation or even full height insulated concrete basement or above grade walls. Everything you need to build a foothold footer is sold through Home Depot. ICF Supply Company sells ICF wall blocks. Now let's go through building with the foothold, start to finish. We'll start with making the foothold sections. You'll need a supply of foothold ties. One box of 25 ties and two full sheets of foam are enough for about 32 lineal feet of footer. Start by cutting the foam sheets into 10 inch planks for the sides of the footer. If you plan to include an ICF foundation wall with the footer, also cut some 2 and 3 quarter inch planks. They are used to insulate the top edges of the footer. Mark the 10 inch planks on 18 inch centers. The first center should be 3 inches from one end, making 6 centers per 8 foot plank. Slide 6 foothold ties onto a pair of 10 inch foam planks and align them to the marks. Drive 3 inch deck screws through the pilot holes in the center of the foothold ties to secure the footer section. The screws should catch the inside of the foothold ties. If your project includes an ICF form wall, slide the 2 and 3 quarter inch planks into the receivers on the top edge of the foothold ties. Add a screw to tack each top plank to the footer section. Making the foothold corners. Mark two 10 inch planks at 59 and 3 quarter inches. Use the square to mark a 45 degree angle with the long point at the 59 and 3 quarter inch marks. Cut the miters. This gives you both the inside and the outside pieces for the corner. You'll need to split one of the foothold ties as shown here. Slide three full foothold ties over the planks. Space these evenly, the first three inches from the edge and the last about two inches from the inside corner. Add the split ties to the long side of the corners. Screw the foothold ties to the foam, but leave the split ties loose for now. Lay out the corner and check for squareness. Screw the outside and inside miters together. Tape the outside and inside edges of the corner with duct tape. Now slide the split ties together. Bind them with zip ties or tape and then screw the split ties to the foam planks. If you're building a footer only, the corner is ready now. If you are adding ICF wall block, add the two and three quarter inch foam top pieces. Preparing the trench. Add several inches of crushed stone to the trench. Stake the building corners and stretch a string line around the perimeter. 
It can help to paint the crushed stone along the string line. Use enough stone to make it easy to grade the stone to plus or minus one inch with string lines or laser. Excess stone will be mounted up around the footer before pouring. Lay out two courses of half inch rebar near the center of the trench. Now let's lay out the foothold footer. First set the foothold corners in place aligned to the corner stakes and string lines as shown. Now lay out the foothold forms between the corners, aligned with the paint line, leveling as you go. A laser level is very helpful for this. If you find small gaps, you can shim them using scrap foam. On each wall, cut the last foothold form to fit and slide into place. Now lift the rebar into the hooks in the foothold ties. Zip tie the rebar to the foothold ties every few ties. Also. Drive stakes every 8 feet or so near a foothold tie and zip tie the stakes to the foothold ties. Carefully mount up stone about halfway up the footing form on both sides as you move along. Give a final check that the footer is straight and level. If you're pouring a foothold footer only, you're ready to proceed to pouring the concrete. If you're adding an ICF foundation wall, now you can stage your ICF corner blocks and straight blocks around the footer. Set the ICF corner blocks first and work toward the middle of each wall. Cut the last block in each course to fit. Truing, leveling, and stabilizing the ICF wall. Set a string line about two inches down from the top of the ICF wall and a half inch out. Check the level of the ICF forms. Now attach a 2x4 horizontal whaler to the ICF wall as shown. Diagonally brace the whaler against the ground such that the walls are in final alignment with the string lines. Final check for true and level all around. Run a bead of spray foam where the ICF wall joins the foothold footer. Now it's time to pour the foundation. Talk to the concrete operator and tell him it's important to pour a 6 inch slump slow and steady. If you are pouring a footer only, pour to the top of the foothold ties, float the top, and add dowels. If you have ICF walls and a foothold footer, Fill the footer and about halfway up the first course of ICF blocks on the first pass. Then continue around steadily until you've filled to the top of the ICF wall. Then float the top and apply dowels. ICF Supply Company is here to help you build insulated concrete foundations faster and easier with the foothold and ICF walls. Links to find out more are in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Thank you.